they can help mummy. They're going to help mummy. It's been a while since I did an on-camera video. How weird. Anyway, I've got Miss Maddie with me today. She's uh, sitting in the corner here. Wait for a belly rub, aren't you babe? She sits up like a toddler, look. Literally like a toddler. Gypsy, of course, is nowhere to be seen. I did get her on camera the other day, though. I'll put it on the end of here, actually. Because I think not all of you follow me on Facebook, so I think it's fair. I did put it on Facebook, but yeah, if you don't follow me on Facebook or you don't have Facebook, then you'll see it at the end of the video. Miss Maddie, are you going to sit still now? Oh, she's going to get down. Okay, one of my FAQs was along the lines of how many journals have you got? How many journals have you got on the go? How many journals, file of faxes, and dories, blah, 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 have you got that you're currently using and what are you using them for? And various other things like that. So I'm breaking it into two because I have a lot of journals and I have a lot of other stuff and I use them all for different things. I'm not one of those people who has piles of filofaxes sitting on a shelf. I have one filofax that's not in use at the moment and that is my personal Holborn. The reason it's not in use is because I'm using my, file, my personal Kensington and I absolutely love it. I really really love it. I love everything about it. I love the colour, I love the feel, I love the texture, I love how soft it is. I love the pocket configuration, everything. So I'm actually considering selling my Holborn. I've got a black personal size Holborn, normal... Oi! Take it outside, you two. Please. Oh, hello, Scooby. This is Scooby. This is my foster boy. Scoobs! Scooby dooby doo. Scooby dooby doo. Scooby dooby doo, isn't he pretty? Hello, little boy. Hi. Isn't he lovely? He talks to me, don't you? You chat, don't you, Mr. Scooby? He's a German Shepherd Collie Cross. So he's like Maddie, but Maddie's a Staffy Cross. He'll probably start shouting at me in a minute because he likes his belly rubs. Don't you? Mr. Scooby Doo. He's a foster at the moment and he's looking for a lovely home. Lovely home of your own. Yes. See, he's so lovely and beautiful, and he's such a happy little thing, and he's so gentlemanly, and he's got lovely manners, don't you? Not very good with cats, but he can't have everything, eh? Yeah, he's a UK GSR dog. I'll put the link down below. We've got a lot of dogs on site looking for really nice homes, or fosters, or, you know, donations, helpers, volunteers, fundraisers, just about everything, so... If your kids are looking for something to do over the summer and you're into puppies and German Shepherds, we are a nationwide uh, organisation. We have fundraisers all over the country, volunteers all over the country. Perhaps if you've got older kids, they might want to get involved, hand out leaflets or something like that. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Are you going to sit there, mister? Are you going to sit there? You're not going to bark at people, are you? The man walking down the man walking down the street in pink cropped trousers with purple flowers all over them, like purple flowers, not like purple flowers, purple flowers, and a Batman T-shirt, but not like a black Batman T-shirt with a cool yellow logo. No, it actually looks like Batman's top from the TV series. Anyway, why don't you go play with Maddie? Go on, go play with Maddie. No, he wants cuddles now. Okay, I'm going to have to talk, talk while I cuddle you, am I? He likes it. He likes that. Look. His head goes right back when you do that. Oh, he's nice. You're all sweaty. It's very hot today. We've been flaked out on the floor. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Why don't you go play with Maddie? Right, so part one is going to be interrupted by doggies, apparently. 
part one is going to be about journals and part two will be about other stuff. Mm. Now the crossovers on the other stuff is my Midori's. I'll include my Midori in this because this is... If you're in the way, honey. Mm. But you're in the way, darling. Mm. But you're in the way, darling. Auntie Claire can't see what she's doing, Bubs. Come on. You're a good boy. Now get down. Come on, get down. I'll cuddle you in a minute. My Midori is uh, what people have started calling an everyday carry. I don't know where that phrase has come from, but this goes everywhere with me. No matter what else I'm taking with me, no matter where else I'm going. If I'm going to bed, it sits by the bed. If I'm going downstairs, it goes downstairs with me. If I'm going to cook, it goes to the kitchen with me. And I make notes on it while I'm there. If I'm going to the garden, it goes in the garden with me. In town, it goes with me. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Not the shower, obviously. Don't get ridiculous. But um, I'd have to have those field notes books for those. For that, wouldn't I? Because they're waterproof. Never mind. Yeah, my Midori is my personal planner. Ooh, it's really awkward filming at this angle. Especially on the wrong side, I need the other arm. Anyway, never mind. Hang on. That's better. <laughs> ah, awkward lefties. Um, this is my Midori with my DIY fish cobbled together inserts in it. This is my personal planner. So in here, I've got things like my bill payments, my library books when they're due, um, house chore, household chores, house management, um, all that kind of thing. I also put in days that I'm working. So I treat work days like anybody else who goes out to work, um, except I work at home. So I section it off and I say, right, uh, for work, I need to work on class videos. I need to ed work on editing videos. I need to work on the website. And then that just reminds me that that day that's what I've planned to do and then I go to my work planner which is the file of facts and I deal with the nitty gritty of exactly what I'm going to edit and how and all that kind of thing. At the back I've got my projects which is currently um, the tail end of my spring cleaning. I'm almost finished. And then uh, I've got some commissions and things that I'm working on, video logs, and then in my middle notebook, I've got kind of an art journal. I say kind of an art journal, it's not really an art journal as such. It's just somewhere that I shove things and I sketch and I write. I quite often do stuff like this. And then I'll just do that. I mean, I've been working on this page for ages. I put the purple on half of it and then I put the purple on the other half of it because I didn't like the black and the purple and white together. And then... I found this picture of a shoe that went with it, and I thought, oh, that's nice. And then I left it for a few weeks, and then I did some of this doodling and things like that. You know, I'm probably going to go in with some white next and do that. So it's just something to keep me busy when I don't have my other journals with me, uh, because obviously sometimes I'll have this and sometimes I won't uh, have anything else. And then my back book is just my lightweight notebook. Love these things with just notes and things in, reading lists, notes, things I've watched on TV, all that kind of stuff. So that is my everyday planner, journal, notebook, commonplace book, I suppose you'd call it. That goes everywhere with me. Even if I've got something else with me, this goes with me. As far as proper journals are concerned, proper journals, uh, whatever that is, yeah, you know, I've got my Hobonichi. Hobonichi, it's not a real Hobonichi. Uh, this is the one that I've been doing uh, daily things on. Check out my videos for June journals. That's what I've been filming for those, or well, some of it anyway, not all of it is, is from here, but that's what I'm enjoying doing at the moment. This is the only one I'm doing daily at the moment, like every single day without fail, purely because it's it's easy. doesn't matter how tired I am or how much else I have to do or what else I have to do or anything. 
I've always got time for this um, because you know, in the time it takes to upload a video when I can't do anything else or the time it takes to import a video and I can't do anything else I can doodle in this for a minute or two um, or you know if I'm sitting on a coffee break I'll get this out so I don't really need to plan anything for this or do anything it doesn't take any time it doesn't take any time that's what I mean it's just odd snippets of my day I also have my Art Doodle, Doodle Love book by Dawn Devery, Dawn Devery Sockle. I always get her name wrong, sorry Dawn. Um, and I've got all sorts in here. I mean this is just a, it started off as just a glue and stick book. Um, then I started adding extra bits. Um, whoops. Writing in it a bit, adding some photos. Um, some more sticking bit of drawing and doodling and sticking and more drawing and doodling and sticking and more sticking and a book review <laughs> and some proper drawing and some sticking and some drawing and drawing and writing and drawing and writing and photos and notes for a class and drawing and bullet journaling and writing and half finished page that I was going to write on but then I forgot what I was going to write on it. Another book review. Another book review. Uh, classwork. Uh, classwork. But these are for my classes that I do as student examples or when I'm doing them with the students. Uh, more classwork. Uh, more classwork. <laughs> yeah I just do all sorts in here. And I jump around in the book as well. I don't always work chronologically. I've got some stuff in the back here. I've got some stuff halfway through. You know, I just I just do whatever. It's nice to pick up when I feel like um, kind of pen work rather than artwork. I can't be bothered with all the doing a fancy background. But, you know, something like this, this is really cool, this is inches, and they're already drawn out for you, all you've got to do is decorate them. So you just grab a black pen and you can do whatever you want. Or you could paint them, or you could add more paper to them. And you can, you know, take things like this and doodle on it. That's what it's meant for. It's got prompts and things, but I just ignore the prompts. I'm, I'm not really a prompt person. Sometimes I look at the prompt and go, oh, that'd be fun. There's one halfway through where I did a... Did some kawaii. Yeah. I do all sorts of things in there. It's just a scrubble book, really. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I do when I'm reading an audio book, but I don't want to do any artwork. Or if I'm just sitting watching TV and I just need to do something, but I'm too tired to be bothered with proper journaling, I just kind of grab a book, grab this and, and play with it. Um... So, obviously, what you define as art journaling and proper journaling and real journaling and written journaling or doodling or whatever is entirely up to you, okay? Some people don't consider it real art journaling unless you've got 50 layers of stuff. But this is what I consider my art journal. Um, and I've got all sorts of stuff in here. It is mostly portraits and things, but I do do sticky stuff and... I did a video of that one. This is my green page, so periodically, whenever when I find something that um, I want to test that's green, or I find stuff that I want to stick on that's green, or that just fits the theme, um, it's kind of inspiration. It says inspiration here, and then it says why don't you, and then down here it says why not. I don't know, I, just, I, was, I was going somewhere with it and then I stopped and then I've just decided to stick with the same colours so I haven't got anything else for it. Just throwing things together, doing scribbles. It's much more of a sketchbook type um, art journal, this one. I don't really write in it as such. I tend to just practice and draw and stuff like that. 
do a lot of my um, this one and another one that you'll see in a minute was actually a prototype for a proper um, piece of artwork that I wanted to do. Uh, sorry about the flipping the book up and down. I, I didn't really intend to show it all, but I can't sh hold this one up. It's too heavy. This is an ongoing page that I've just been adding doodles to. I think I'm coming to the end of what I've got in here now. You see, I mostly just draw in it. And that's one that I'm working on. And then I've got a couple more pages behind that, but they're all clipped together, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to get those out, but you can see, you get the idea. It's not really a written journal, it's not really a serious journal, it's not really an art journal, but it is mostly art. I don't know, some people would call that a sketchbook. I call them all journals. And then my other main journal is my Megadory. Love my Megadory. Now, this is perfect because it has the three notebooks. That's how I set it up. Plus it has my moleskin on the shorter elastic. This is actually a new moleskin. I just put this one in the other day because I finished the other one that was in here. Uh, I've been doing my written prompts from When Frogs Sing in a moleskin. And then I've also got some of the prompts, the art prompts from the class in here. This is the kind of stuff we've been doing. I'm not going to show you too much of that. If you want to see it, come to the class. And then I have my second book is my uh, examples. So when I'm demonstrating a class, this is what I'm demonstrating. So we've just finished colour wheels. So that's the last lesson that they've seen. So I'm not going to show you any further than that because I don't want you to see it yet. Or I don't want them to see it yet because that's not until August. So, and then the third book is where I've been doing my prompts, my art prompts. So I've got classwork, uh, video work, art prompts, and written prompts all in here. So this is my When Frogs Sing book, and it's also got another one of these books. I've already finished one, and I've got another one of the moleskins. Which is quite good. I'm quite pleased with that, considering how much work it's been to set up the class. Um, and how busy I've been this year so far. I'm quite pleased with how much I've got done with it. And obviously some of it is in other books as well. Because my five minutes a day that you have to do for the class is all in my Hobonichi now. Or in my Midori's previously. I do have... Oh, I forgot about that. I do have... I got up and Maddie nicked my seat. Little Tinker. Come here, Bubs. There you go, you sit there. I'd forgotten about this one. I have this one. So this is my um, Midori's and Sketchbooks. And this actually, part of it is September, October, November, December. Um, up to there. Then I did another one of these. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I did another one of these for Christmas. And then... I've got the rest of this middle one and then this one, which is January, February. So that was my, obviously February I was away, that's my travel time. I'd forgotten about those. So that's all my arty type journals. I've also got the question a day journal. I've got the quote a day journal. I've got the sentence a day journal. These are the little compact journals, about this big. They've got Q&A written, or compact, or five years written on the front. They're all about the same size. I'll link them below. Uh, oh, I've got Sketch a day as well. I haven't been using that one recently, though. I fill in all the written ones every day. So I've got a quote a day, I've got a sketch a day that I was doing up until about February, and then I lost interest. Um, question a day sentence a day and they're all five year journals so it's not a big thing you know like five minutes and you're done with all three of them it's not a huge thing and it tends to be what I do just before I go to bed just to switch my brain off so there's that one <laughs> and then there's my study journal now I'm including this in journals because 
whereas my other journals, my other, like my filofaxes and stuff are all notes for classes, this one is my all-encompassing everything. So in here, I've got various different books and notebooks and you know, stuff. I'm not going to bother showing you because most of it's writing. Um, but I do, I do write my information in here for uh, which classes I'm doing and um, what my syllabus is and things like that. I might remember I showed you this one, which I still haven't written in yet. I've got to get that done. That's this week's hens project um, for my my schedules. And I've got this one, which is just kind of bits and pieces that I find interesting that I clip out of magazines. Um, yeah, it's just an all-encompassing study journal. It's just to keep me up to date with what I'm doing and when, and what, when assessments and things are supposed to be done. So it's almost a planner, but it doesn't have a diary in it. <laughs> uh, if I've got an assignment for a particular day, then it goes in my personal planner, in my main Midori, but my Raydori, this is where I'll write the information for what the assessment is about and you know what I have to do and how I have to format it and all that. And then, of course, I have my Books of Shadows, which if you watched yesterday's uh, video, you will have seen an update on. Other than that, all I've got is my Filofaxes. I've got my work Filofax, which deserves a video on its own because of the way it's set up. Uh, and I have had several people ask me for it. And my other Filofaxes are all pure writing. They're just it's just an easy way of being able to add notes to different sections and cross-reference things. I don't even have dividers in most of them. I have the odd one or two where I'll have a bookmark, but you know, most of it is just written. I don't really have anything fancy in there. It's just an easy way of putting all my paperwork together and being able to reorganise it. Uh, I don't like using bound books because nine times out of ten I will need to take a page out to reorganise it and put something else in. And that drives me batty. Mr Scooby's come back for another cuddle. Isn't he pretty? Don't you want to take me home? He's usually very chatty. He's not chatting to me today. You're not chatting today, baby boy. Okay. You're not chatting today. I don't want to chat today. Oh, look at those lovely ears. Look at those lovely ears. That lovely ears. <laughs> there you go. You've seen Maddie and Scooby. Now it's time to see Gypsy. Yay! Miss Gypsy? Would you move Miss Gypsy like a strawberry? Would she like a strawberry? Where's my Gypsy girl? Gypsy Chips? Gypsy Chips? Come here. Gypsy Chips, come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I know you want one. Here she is, look. Oh, she wanted strawberry. Do you want your strawberry? Do you want your strawberry? Oh, yes, 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 mummy. Yes, 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 I want your strawberry, mummy. 